Good morning. Welcome to a new video. I'm about to go to the range. I've got my gigantic puffer jacket on and it's one of those that's like really loud. <laughs> so I think I'll probably take it off. So yeah, I'm feeling a bit like a new woman with my hair and makeup done for once because during the week um, I don't really ever do my hair and makeup anymore because I work from home um, I've got more into doing my skincare routine rather than makeup every day so yeah it feels nice to have my hair and makeup done and be on my way out somewhere because with it obviously being locked down and working from home I hardly ever go out um, which sounds so sad <laughs> but hopefully we're on the way we're on the way out of lockdown hopefully there is light at the end of the lockdown tunnel so yeah there's a few things that I've got in mind that I need to get um, a few things on my list but as we all know when you go to the range or B&M who knows what we might find so let's go Okay, back. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I take my coat off first because it's so loud. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I just got up and came this morning because I just came out and the queue now is huge. Um, it's like almost to the end of the unit that the range is in <sighs> just sanitize my hands and then i'm gonna get some lunch i think but i got everything that i had on my list i've got everything that i had on my list um and i also got some bits that um i didn't expect to get in there but i managed to find some so successful trip and definitely didn't go crazy spending loads because I've done that so many times in the past and then I've got home and it, like a week later I've just been like what? what did I buy you know you know what I mean like where did why did I buy that and where has it gone <laughs> but yeah it was a good trip I got everything I needed um, a few extra bits and bobs so I'm gonna get some lunch get home get cozy and I'll show you what I got. So I'm home now, so let's have a look at everything that I picked up at the range. It was quite a successful trip, I got everything that I needed and it was really nice to get out of the house and go somewhere a little bit different to a supermarket. I haven't been to the range in, in, in months, so it was just nice to be somewhere a little bit different. Um, and yeah, I get some homeware bits. So the first thing I got was a photo frame. My lovely friend Sarah over at Luna Moon Designs very kindly gifted me some prints. And the first one is this one, but first coffee. And I just, I loved this one. I thought this was so cute and really pretty. And I thought this would be really good next to our coffee machine and things. Hello, you can go in. No, sorry, I was just gonna say you're okay for 20 minutes. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> Hello. What do you think about the range, Grant? You, you said that you couldn't come on the trip to me, the trip with me today to the range. Mm, the range is more your style of shop. More my style of shop. Well, you just like you like wandering around, aren't you? And <laughs> seeing what there is to buy. I like knowing what I'm going to buy <laughs> yeah. when I go in. You like to get in. I get in and get, get out as fast want. as possible. I'm like, Whereas I, I go down every aisle just in case there's yeah. something that I don't want to miss. You like to browse. Yeah. I just like to get my stuff. But right. yeah. <laughs> right. This is the photo frame that I went for. 
Um, and the print is A3 size. Um, but you can get this print. She does them in A3, A4 and A5, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to put this in our kitchen or utility, I think, next to our coffee machine and syrups and coffee pods and things. But this is really pretty. It's a linen, linen effect frame. So it's a linen effect feel with a silver wrap around the edges. Um, and that's only £3.79. So I'll see if it will... And there you go, so you can see it's a linen effect and a silver wrap on the edges. But yeah, I thought that was really pretty. And yeah, I'm excited to put this print up. Since we moved in last night, we've not really got much on the walls because we've been painting, deciding what we want to do with different spaces. And um, yeah, so it's exciting to get something on the walls. She also sent me a couple of other prints, so this one, A3, Be Our Guest, and this one I think I'm definitely going to put in our guest bedroom, and that's a really cute nod to Beauty and the Beast, and a really sweet idea for a guest bedroom. And then this one says, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry. And this one 110% applies to me. <laughs> but yeah, again, this is a really nice one for kitchen. So I think we might put this one up in the kitchen somewhere as well. And then finally, she also sent me this, um, I think this is A5 size, um, a crazy dog lady. And I hadn't seen this actually on her Etsy shop, but I love this. I think that's so cute. Um, and I think when we've got Indy's crate area sorted out and tidied up a bit, I might put this above Indy's crate area. But yeah, I thought that was really cute and fun. The store is called Lunar Moon Designs and you can find them on Instagram at Lunar Moon Designs and also on Etsy at lunarmoondesigns.etsy.com and if you do find anything on there that you like they have kindly given me a code to share for 10% off and that is Beth Jade 10 So yeah, there's loads of different designs on her Etsy shop and if you find something you like let me know, let me know what you're going for and she's also a local independent business so it's amazing to be able to support something like that. I also actually got a second frame and I think I might use this frame for the crazy dog lady print. Um, but yeah, this is just a white frame with a kind of whitewashed wooden border. Um, again, only two ninety nine for this, and it's a really sweet. And whilst I was in the gallery section at the range, um, I also found this, and I think this will go in our utility. This home has endless love and laundry. And I thought that was quite cute to go up in our utility room. And I love the gallery section at the range. I think there's so many things in there that are just a little bit different. Um, the Let's Stay Home, it's not a print, I don't really know what you'd call it, the piece that's in our kitchen. I always get asked about it and asked where it's from and it's, it's just on the range, but it's just a bit different to anything else. Oh yeah, I got this one. I think that will be really nice. Um, and that was only five pounds. I think the final um, wall homeware piece, um, I found this mirror. And at the minute we are redecorating our hallways, upstairs and downstairs. And hopefully the finished the finished look will be in a new video um, but I found this mirror unexpectedly at the range which I think we might use 
um, in our downstairs hallway. On the entryway it's really narrow so I wanted just a narrow shelf and a nice round mirror above it. So yeah I found this one. It is 50 centimetres in diameter um, and it is a white frame round mirror with a black faux leather hanging strap and this was only £10 so even if we decide to not use it in the hallway I think we'll definitely get use out of this somewhere else. So yeah that'll be really nice and for £10 I thought that was just such a good deal. So yeah we'll see how that looks and maybe it'll go up in the hallway hopefully when it's all done. And I suppose the last kind of um, homey bit that I got was uh, just this storage basket and one of my tasks that I want to do this weekend is go through our utility cupboard because it's just full of oh, just like you know when you just chuck stuff in somewhere and then it just becomes like a dumping cupboard yeah so this is to help facilitate that <laughs> so I got this um, and this is filled with just loads of snacky bits and things really so I got this for Grant to go with his Easter his Easter gift because he really likes Haribo it's a little Haribo chicken mix <laughs> I just thought that was really cute and that was only two pounds um, it's just a selection of Easter favourites. I thought that was really cute. Oh, and I also got some rosy apples for my mum. I'm going to drop those off for her. Oh, I've just read. May have an adverse effect on activity and, on activity and attention in children. And speaking of Easter things, of course, got a couple of bags of mini eggs. These are my all-time favourite chocolates. I don't know why I don't like stock up every Easter on them, because after Easter time, they're kind of, you don't see them again until next year. But yeah, there's just something different about these. I can just sit and eat bags and bags of these with a cup of tea. Oh, and I also saw these. And I love munchies and I love cookie dough, so I just thought... What match made in heaven? Munches, but cookie dough? How good do they look? Oh my gosh, looking at my basket now and realising that I've just got loads of chocolate. <laughs> um, but I've got some poppets and some Kinder Bueno as well. I always get the milk chocolate Kinder Bueno. I do, I don't mind the milk version. Wait, I don't mind the white chocolate version, but I much prefer the milk. Got some Mr. Kipling Cherry Bakewells. I got a little bag of Cheetos for Grant. Whenever I see Cheetos anywhere, I always buy them for Grant. But I think, I mean, I really like them as well, but Grant loves Cheetos and they do just remind me a bit of being in America. But now we can get so many American sweets and crisps and things over here. It's like a little bit of a reminder of holidays. Final food bit I got was just a couple of pasta and sauce. Um, I love having these for my lunches. They're super quick and easy on the hob. Um, and in co-op these are usually like a pound 20, a pound 30 a packet. But in places like B&M at the range they're only 50p each. So again a really good deal on things like that in the range. And I also got a few crafty bits. So I got um, a new little Pritt stick for a pound and some more rolls of tiny clear tape for a pound. That's Andy barking if you can hear it, there's probably somebody outside. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got these because um, my mum had a really good idea of doing a COVID scrapbook. So I've been getting together newspapers, um, magazines, that kind of thing with clippings of Covid related news and it'll be a little bit of a reminder of this time because I feel like 
you know, in a few years time, we'll, we'll all look back and be like, oh my gosh, can you remember when we were in lockdown? And it'll just be like, it'll just be, I mean, it's been a while now, but yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of a scrapbook and just keep some of those things. And I think it'll just be one of those really interesting kind of keepsakes to look back on in a few years. And then my final thing that I grabbed was just this sticker book. Um, I have a, another one of the same brand from the range. This is the set two. But I love using these when I'm doing, um, when I'm planning things out in my diary, when I'm journaling. And that is everything that I picked up from the range today. So I hope that you liked this video. I love watching these kinds of videos and seeing what people picked up and inspiration for different things around the home or craft ideas. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.